In this video, I'm gonna be doing a showdown of the two best reasonably priced SLS 3D printers on the market, the Lisa X and the Fuse One. Let's get into it. Just a few months ago, we were all set to compare the Fuse One and the Lisa X when the Form Labs actually surprised us with an upgraded version, the Fuse One Plus. Now this new system packs a much more powerful punch, boasting a 30 watt laser compared to the original 10 watt. When comparing the specs side by side, it's pretty clear that this new machine was actually designed to compete directly with the Lisa X. But if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, a little bit less expensive, consider the Lisa Pro. It's uh, Lisa X's little brother, basically a slow Lisa X. If you want to know how those stack up, just let me know in the comments below. Now honestly, the Lisa X and the Fuse One Plus are really similar. Similar build volume, similar size, similar price. It really comes down to a few factors. Materials you can print, the cost of those materials, the support and the parts, the user experience, and the overall cost. Now, the Lisa X wins outright on materials. The Cinerit's got 10 materials that they developed in-house, and at the time of making this video, three third-party materials, versus the Fuse 1 having four materials. Now, the Cinerit's got flexibles, PA-12s, PA-11s, polypropylenes, and a few others, while the Fuse is mostly limited to PA-11 and PA-12. Now, the Lisa X also takes the cake for materials cost, along with support and parts costs. And that's that's really the big thing with Boston-based tech companies and like Formlabs. They love proprietary tech and it allows much higher profit margins on the same materials. Now, Cinerit's Lisa systems let you use whatever powder you want. It's an open system. Tuning isn't exactly a walk in the park, but they give you everything you need to use your own materials, like the PA-12 from BASF or Jable, which can lower costs even more. The Fuse One Plus really does shine, though, in the area of user experience. And that's really what Formlabs is known for. Beautiful graphical interfaces, sleek industrial design, and easy as one, two, three system. Just like a Mac versus a PC. Now, this means the experience is more straightforward and consistent, but you're extremely limited on customization of any kind. So let's get down to some more raw details. Price. The Fuse One is approximately $27,999, so we'll say 30K after taxes. Then you get the service plan, which is between four and $6,000 per year, and this is required. So $36,000. The Lisa X is $23,990 or $24,000, and 25 to 26K after taxes. So it wins by a few thousand dollars, or if you include the service package, about $10,000, which could be used in more powder material to make stuff that's gonna make money and pay off the machine. And of course, there's no yearly service plan that's required. You can buy one, but it's not required. It's totally optional. Now, if you want the full sets, which frankly on SLS systems that are fast like this, you're going through a lot of powder, you're gonna want the full sets. If you use one plus with all the bells and whistles, starts around 39,243 or about 40K. And the Lisa X with the full setup is around 40,999, it's about 41K. So if we run a little bit of math, the first year with the Fuse One, including the service plan, is gonna be around 46K and the Cinerit around 40K. So Cinerit wins on price. Let's get into some of the technical details. Build volumes. Okay, how much can you print? How big is the build by what size parts can you print? The Lisa X has a maximum volume of about 130 by 180 by 340 millimeters or about 5.1 by 7.1 by 13.3 inches. And the Fuse One is 165 by 165 by 300 millimeters or 6.5 by 6.5 by 11.8 inches. The Lisa X total volume is about 485 cubic inches versus the Fuse One Plus is about 498, a couple more inches. They're basically the same, but you can fit some longer objects into the Lisa X and some wider or probably wider cylinder type objects onto the Fuse One. Next, resolution and detail. Okay, so this one kind of hits home because apparently there's some Formlab sales reps out there talking smack on the Lisa X's resolution saying it can't do small details. Firstly, at Vision Miner, we don't have sales reps. All our guys use the technology and then they're allowed to talk about it to you. The small details between the two machines are frankly indistinguishable. I had a guy call in and he's like, yeah, man, they were saying it couldn't do it. I'm like, I don't know, man, uh, let me send you some samples, check them out. And he was like, this is insane. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go into why they were saying this. And it has to do with the laser dot size being larger on the Lisa X, but the Lisa X can go a much 
finer layer resolution, so it's kind of a trade-off, but both of them are pretty much indistinguishable, so it's kind of a funny thing. Anyway, they're uh, basically literally identical on SLS systems on both machines. You can get incredibly fine details. It's, it's one of the coolest things ever, especially if you used FDM or, or some other processes. Moving right along, both machines now have the capability for inert gas, i.e. nitrogen, which improves the quality of mechanical properties and coloration, mostly with nylon 11. An important note, the original Fuse 1 does not have inert gas. You cannot use nitrogen, but the OnePlus does, so there's a big price difference there, but no, those are some of the things that are missing out. All right, let me just blow through the rest of these points. We've got lasers. The Lisa X has an IR fiber coupled diode laser at 30 watts, rated at 30,000 hours. The Fuse 1 has a ytterbium fiber laser at 30 watts, rated to 10,000 hours. Okay, so you're gonna replace that one more. Now, the Lisa X does have a slightly larger laser spot diameter at 650 microns versus 247 on the Fuse 1. So theoretically, you can get a little bit finer detail, but you're melting puddles of plastic. It's indistinguishable in my experience. Lisa X also accepts more file formats, but it's Windows only. So you can bet the Fuse 1 interface is beautiful and it also works on Windows and Mac. Formlabs also requires a service plan that costs money, thousands of dollars. Centrit does not require those. And when you get a Cinturit, you actually get Vision Miner support along with the Cinturit team's support, and we don't even charge for that. Now, the Cinturit software actually lets you play with all the settings, laser power, infill, perimeters, everything else. And the form labs is pretty much closed. You don't really get to mess with most of the settings. Cinturit, you actually get over 32 settings and you can change the layer height. And if you're printing multiple parts, every part in the same build can have different settings. And that makes testing really, really easy. Some of the materials you, you can actually print softer or harder based on the laser power that you set. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of little features that you don't get with these other machines. Now, both machines can work in the USA and the EU without any electrical adapters. The Lisa X can actually print higher resolution than the Fuse 1 Plus down to 75 microns, compared to the Fuse 1's 110 micron layer height. That's uh, 0.0043 inches, by the way, compared to the Lisa's 0.0029 inches. So it's a little bit smaller layers. And the Lisa X has overall lower long-term costs, more materials, a more open system. It checks the boxes for what we do here at Vision Miner. It doesn't lock you into proprietary systems and pricing, and it gives you options. It lets you do what you want. But I will say the removable build systems and sift unit with the shroud and everything is pretty awesome over at Form Labs. And the design is absolutely beautiful, but from a business standpoint, well, I mean, what? we're here to make money. We're here to get the return on investment. And in our opinion, the Lisa X is a clear winner if you're getting into SLS 3D printing technology. That's what we're all about here at Vision Miner is business systems for additive manufacturing digitalization. Printers, scanners, to help you make more money. Anyway, let me know your opinion in the comments down below. If you've got either of these systems, let us know your experience down there. It'd be great to see what you guys have to say. Subscribe for more, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.